Good news, my lovely, wonderful people. After the appointment of the new um, central bank governor yesterday, uh, we see that um, parts of the country are not happy. Our brother from the south is Obenna Wonsu, as well as our northern elders have reacted, saying Tinubu has put the entirety of the economic structure of Nigeria in the hands of Yorubas. And this is stemming from the fact that if you pay attention to the appointment since Tinubu came in, most of the juicy position, especially that has to do with the economy, the finances um, have been placed you know, in the hands of people who Tinubu you know, you know, feel he knows best and um, feels you know, he knows can handle it. And apparently those people seem to be from where he hails from. And this is now becoming a concern. But, I mean, people are airing their concern like they should. However, I don't think it's going to change much. Uh, but at least let's put it out there. This was one of the disadvantages of Muhammad Buhari. He came in and Buhari was not a team player at all. In fact, he was one of the most, one of the most, you know, he was, uh, he was, he was very, well, like, what will I use the word now? Yeah, this man, you know, he, he, he only worked with, people from his ethnic group, you know, to the extent that the international community recognized it, you know, it, 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 that's the kind of, and that's what, you know, uh, Tinubu people see he's trying to do. Very nepotic in nature. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Northern Elders, Obinna Onsu has cried out that Tinubu has put the entire economic structure of Nigeria in the hands of Yorubas. And this is not going down well with a lot of people. Obin Awonsu, a candidate of the Federal House of Representatives in 2023 from the southeastern part of the country, has responded to Bola Ahmed Tinubu's appointment of the CBN governor. Northern elders have also spoken out, saying the entirety of the nation in terms of the finances and all that all the juicy position has been given to men and women from the southeastern part of the country other structures the main juice of the matter has been given to those from the southwest other areas have now been given to other people the north barely have anything to do with the economy southeast is totally out of it Chernobyl's government we thought will include all is not really reflecting that as such as we have thought he would do. They continued and they said the power, the Yorubas are now in power. And this is more of a Duduwa's economy and republic. The same thing they fought against is what Tinubu has come to actualize. Nigeria, Nigerians are completely going about as if all is normal. But we should pay attention to what is going on. The Duduwa's republic has finally... A reason the president has put the entirety of the economic structure of Nigeria in the hands of the Yorubas and Nigerians are not complaining. This is Muhammad Buhari left behind templates and Tinubu has picked it up. CBN Governor Yoruba, Minister of Finance Yoruba, FIRS Chairman Yoruba, Minister of Digital Economy Yoruba, Mini Minister of Maritime and Blue Economy Yoruba. These are all the juicy parts of the country and their entirety and totally now in the hands of the Southwesterners. This is another Buhari's government. Like I earlier said, Tinubu. You know, when Buhari came on board, Buhari was very nepotic in nature. Oh, yes, even those who have been given appointment, Buhari found ways to get them off the appointment and put his own people there. Yes, it was that, it was that bad, you know. And um, if you listen to all the position now, uh, Tinubu has also picked people and put in those areas. You think, say, the eye when they cry, not they see. No, the eye when they cry, I see, they cry, so what, they, what, what are they rush, but they see. They're not blind, not, not cry, they cry, not be blind, they blind. The eye when they cry, they see. And now they are beginning to say to his face, Ududowa's Republic has, has a reason. Tinubu has actually brought it to pass. Now, the danger in this kind of thing is Buhari did it. Tinubu is picking it up. When anybody comes, they tell you those are the people they can work with. Does that mean those are the fine, those are, you know, we are, those are, they are men of women, you know, 
calibers of captains of industries in their own right. Fine. But this same set of people can be found in other tribes and languages in Nigeria where you are not where it does not feel like you are favoring especially those of your ethnic group more than others. So we must be very careful how we give our administration, how we administer, you know, our, our leadership. We must be very careful in the entirety of that. We must look upon it and be very careful because people are looking. And if we start that precedent and we begin to, it becomes a pattern. And before you know it, it becomes a way. So, for instance, when an Igbo man comes, the entirety of the cabinet becomes Igbo. Here and there, there are finger picks of, um, you know, all that tribe to make it look like they are being, you know, optimistic, working with others, but really no. When an Hausa man comes, the same thing happens. The entirety of the cabinet is, 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 is from the north, and here and there, they just have a handful of people here and there to make it look like they are working with everybody, but really the answer is no. When a Yoruba man comes like we are having now, you know, so people, we need to really need to bring a balance to this and you know the thing that have killed us most in nigeria is this tribe region and religion oh yes it has done us a great damage where we don't see ourselves as one everybody sees themselves as fragments you know uh, this is me this is us you know uh, this that is them the so it has become you know it has become a real serious uh, issue you know in nigeria today but if we cannot continue with you know having the same the same uh pattern and uh, you know way that has been that has been keeping us in one spot for a while now we cannot continue with such and expect that you know everything will fall in place you know if we want really for things to change we want really for things to get better there is urgent need as it were for every single person to begin to look at these things and ensure that you know we are speaking out like we should and making you know making every effort to bring nigeria to the very very surface that it needs to be we are bringing you know we are doing our best and bringing things out of you know the cocoon and bringing it light right right back into life this is part of what is going on this is part of what is happening and everybody is paying attention and watching Okay, uh, so we just need to ensure that every single person, you know, uh, you know, is 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 working at it, and we are doing all we can, humanly speaking, possible to channel this nation in the right direction. Every single one of us have a part to play. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless have a fantastic day from us is bye for now remember you have a voice god bless bye bye